In Maiden, North Carolina, Terry and Kim Bill live with their family on a farm. A family that goes beyond just the human members. <laughs> Look at these guys. Hey, Terry. How you doing? And what started out as a hobby. Looks like you got some hungry people. I sure do. <laughs> you doing all right? I'm doing good. Hey, that's great. Has grown into a thriving animal park they share with the public. Well, Terry, it's, a, it's an impressive array of animals you've got here. How'd this happen for you? Well, I grew up on a farm. Uh, when we bought this place, it was all woods, 40 uh -huh. acres, and I cleared it off. Uh, I got into raising pheasants and peacocks. Then I met someone that was interested in buying my white peacocks, and I went over to meet with him one day, and, and he had some different animals. So I traded some peacocks for a buffalo. So this was your beginning? This is a beginning. <laughs> And then we just started from there. And then I went from the birds. I just kept stepping on up. Got some macaws. This is Skipper. And uh, I don't really know what we call the other one. We don't have a, <laughs> don't have a name for everything. You don't have it. Well, maybe we can help you name some well, things. We can, well, we, the main things are named for me. Yeah. But we can't name them all. These are red kangaroos. He loves to come up and meet out of your hand. So this is a red kangaroo. This is the largest in the kangaroo family. Oh, you got something to tell me? You got a secret to tell me? <laughs> we raised this one in the house, and we would bottle feed him. Uh, we would have a little pouch that he would live in uh -huh. while I was feeding him in the house, uh -huh. and I'd just hang that pouch on the doorknob. Was that different for you? I mean, you, I mean, growing up on a farm, I'm sure you had all sorts of animals, but then getting these exotic animals, was that something a little different for you, or did it just seem natural? It's, it's pretty much a natural because everything's sort of the same. I mean, you think okay. they're so much different, uh -huh. but I mean, you know, they're going to drink milk, they're going to eat feed, they want to be petted. This is Vino. Vino, hey Vino. Vino's a, he's just a youngster. He'll be three years old this October. So I understand he likes lettuce. He loves lettuce. Of course, he likes leaves on the trees. And if you can kind of look up, he's got them peeled back as far as he can reach. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something else interesting about him is his look. tongue is a bluish purple color. Let's see if we can, can see that. On look them at that. Because they're always licking or trying to get uh -huh. leaves. Uh huh. And it feels like a cat's tongue, kind of. Wow. There you go, buddy. I mean, I gotta tell you something, Terry. I'm excited because I've never been this close to a giraffe. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> that's great. Good to see you, Vino. That's an amazing creature. I love him. We walk up here, we got some prairie dogs in this enclosure here. I think these are called black-tailed prairie dogs. Okay. Now, whether there's a difference or not, I don't know. We they just look so happy and inquisitive. They're pretty neat little creatures. Here might be my two favorites. This is Barney. Hey, Barney. He's a, good, buddy. he's a Bactrian camel. You got two kind of camels. You got okay. the Bactrian, two humps. Okay. And you got the dromedary, which is one hump. And so, this is this is Bubba. So Bubba is a dromedary, and that dromedary. just means one hump? One hump. Now he's awfully big too, isn't he? Bubba weighs almost 2,000 pounds. Wow. Now we ride Bubba. We have a saddle. We take him out to places. Uh, he's leaving next week going to Virginia. Uh -huh. He's going to be riding kids hey. at the fair. Well, they're awful friendly. I bought Bubba when he was three days old. Uh -huh. Bottle fed him, of course. Okay. So that made him part of part of me and yeah. And we've raised him ever since, and he is uh, 13 years old. So you've had him since, since he, was, he three. was three days old. So really, I mean, a he's lot of family. These, he, exactly. Be like one of the kids. Real pop, you learn learning to mess with these animals and how to train them and uh -huh. the temperament and and uh, he, he likes apples. He, right? he, yes. One thing about camels is they'll eat anything. <laughs> hey, they like the good stuff and the bad stuff. They yeah. eat the briars and the weeds. Well, Bubba, Bubba likes apples, so they're and good. Both for of us. them do. This is a cicado land tortoise. Uh -huh. So it says step over. You to touch, touch his shell. Now whether he's going to eat out of your hand or not, I don't know, but you can try. But this is an experience that you people can, try. can have when they come here. That's it. Okay. All right. I'm going to step over. And what's his name? We don't, we're we don't. gonna let you name him. All right. Hey, friend, how are you? There you go. <laughs> when it is full grown, uh -huh. it can weigh as much as 200 pounds. And they can- 200 200 pounds? 200 pounds. And they can live to be anywhere between 150 to 200 uh -huh. years. Very methodical in his movements. He's making a little bit of a noise. Does that mean anything or is that well, just- just don't stick your fingers too close. That's <laughs> all I'm going saying. To. <laughs> I believe you got a friend right there. I think so. 
All right, we'll have to come up with a name. Maybe we call him Jackson. We could call him Carl, how's that? Carl the Turtle. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, Carl, good to see you, buddy. And my new friend Carl is just one of the many creatures you can share a close experience with. Look at that. Even though we've got a fence between us, a double fence, this is, it still feels close to me. Now he's a little guy. How old is he? He's about two months old. Oh, he's just two months old. Look at that. Now this is very educational. I imagine that's a big part of what happens here, right? It is. One of the things that w was interesting for me and my wife when we started is you will go places and kids did, really did not even know what a goat was because farms are gone, people raised in the city. So this gives an opportunity for, for not only a child, but adults as well. Yeah. <laughs> is that your wife? That's my wife, Kim. Hey, Kim, how are you? Let me ask you this question. <laughs> when he said, honey, I'm bringing home a camel, I'm bringing home a giraffe, I'm bringing home a, 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 a kangaroo, what did you think? He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Th you, this is, this is the farmer versus the city girl. Okay. okay. She barely knew what a cat and a dog were. Okay. Uh, things have changed. That's right. In 30 plus years, things have changed. So you've come to love these animals? I've come to love the animals. More what? than him sometimes. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me what's special about this. I just think I enjoy seeing kids learn and be able mm -hmm. to experience these animals. And they're mm -hmm. soothing to us. I like to talk to them when I'm mad. I can come mm -hmm. out here and they don't talk back. And uh -huh. they listen about everything I say. So when he gives you a problem, you, you seek refuge. That's right. <laughs> so it's therapy. That's right. So now what's your favorite of the animals here? I would have to say the giraffe. First. The giraffe? Mm -hmm. And then the kangaroo, because mm -hmm. they were one of our first two. Yeah. yeah. I, I can see. Do you think of them as your kids? Yes. Although yeah. Bubba, he's special to my heart, too. Yeah. Yeah. So. We've got what you call a coat of Monday. A coat of Monday? You know, they kind almost of look, look like a raccoon, don't I know, a raccoon or a, an opossum. Mm -hmm. It's got that blend. That I hope they like grapes. Hey, buddy. And you have people that raise them, they'll bottle feed them when they're young. And, and and put them on a leash and, and they'll be pretty they, they can be pretty good yeah. but they also have pretty sharp teeth i can see that yeah. this is samson okay he's a capuchin a capuchin he looks like he's a lot of fun now is he is he friendly or well you know we we, we can we feed him we can get in and clean his uh -huh. pens and things like that. Uh -huh. we don't try to handle him okay. pick him up or hold him right and the, and the thing about some monkeys uh we've got a baby in they're really sweet and uh -huh. nice and, you know, uh -huh. everything when they're smaller, but they do get larger. Well, he seems friendly. Oh, he, he's... He likes well, to talk to you. Well, kind of friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just gibbering with you. He just likes to talk to you. It's so amazing, all the creatures here at Buffalo Bills and just how different they are. Do you just walk around sometime, you know, in the afternoon and just look and say, my gosh, that's amazing. It is. I do. I mean, you know, if, if things are not going good sometimes, you just want to walk around and kind of, yeah. there's, there's something in your blood. Yeah. And animals are the same way. You just enjoy them. Here we have a Grant zebra. He knows what that tube right there is for. Oh, that's for a little food, right? That's a little bit of food. <laughs> but he's a male. He's about seven years old. Been trying to decide if he's got white stripes on black or black on white. <laughs> So, Terry, I've seen a zebra, and I don't know what this other animal is that came up. It looks like a zebra. What is that called? It's called a zorse. A zorse? It's a cross between <laughs> a, a horse and a zebra. A horse and a zebra. Okay. The thing about them is you can't just get them to, to right. breed just overnight. It's not just something just so happens. it's not a natural that. thing, right, but occasionally right. it happens. This is a pair of water buffalo. Now, these are Asian water buffalo. They're not the cape. Okay. Okay, because if they were the cape, they'd probably be running through this fence. Is that right? But these yeah. are a whole lot more calm. So they're docile. They, they, yep. Okay. And the one to the left is a female, and she is due to have a little one any time. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a mama. She's coming up here. What's her name? We don't have one. We'll call uh, her Carl. We'll no, call, we can't call her Carl. Carl. We'll call her... We'll uh, call everything Carl. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do that. Come here, sweetheart. Spending time here reminds us how much we share with the other creatures in this world. 
and perhaps nothing connects us more than our feelings for birth and family. Now, I've noticed that the animals here, to me, they seem incredibly healthy. And, and they're eating what, to me, looks like pretty good food. So this is expensive, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, we feed, uh, we feed a lot of fruit and vegetables, all the monkeys, a lot uh -huh. of the other things. Okay, cook. so that's another thing that people can do when they come. They can buy food here and, and, and to feed, feed the all animals. the animals. Yep. And that's a big help, though, isn't it? It is. Okay. It is. I have to feed less, and I like it. More. Yeah. And it gives all of us a chance to interact with the animals, and that's a that's a pretty darn neat thing. You don't really get very much of a chance to feed a giraffe. Yeah. But, First you time I ever really, done that. You don't really get to see one a lot of times, but to be able to stand right there and feed one is a little different. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, this is amazing. What a wonderful way to, to spend the afternoon and, and just kind of let the sun start to go down and enjoy these animals. I know it's work, but you got to love this, Terry. I enjoy it. I, I really do. One thing that we enjoy, I think, about this as much as anything else is I can do it with my family. So you get to do this with your family, and then you get to share it with a lot of a other A lot of families. other people. Yeah, that's pretty nice.